way to eat. Fork. so much anxiety good morning all i'm gonna vlog a little bit today please don't mind my hair this is my slipped on moosed up kind of natural hair so anyway i have my podiatrist appointment today to find out about my mri which is really annoying because long story short my podiatrist didn't get the mri results in time from the last time i went um and then when she tried to see the images herself and piece it together because she is a podiatrist, she's not a radiologist. She was just kind of assuming she saw something she didn't like. So then she was able to speak to a radiologist days later and supposedly whatever the radiologist told her didn't make sense to my injury or the fact that it happened in an accident. So she had to talk to her again and I waited and I waited and I waited and then I got a call last week saying, oh, the doctor wants to see you on this day. And I was like, well, is that all she said? Like. Because I was kind of left between your bone could be bruised or it could be um, dying. Um, that's literally what I was told. Your bone could be dying or your bone could be bruised. So when the receptionist called me and said, come in on this day, she wants to see you. I was like, is that all she said? Like, <laughs> did she not give you any information? She's like, no, that's all she said. So we'll see you Monday. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I had to wait all week. <sighs> so that's today. Um... So I'm a little pent up about that right now. Um, and then I also am a little pent up right now because with all of this, without getting into my personal, like really personal finance issues and whatever, um, just basically I'm out of work right now. So uh, my income is minimal. And after so long, you have to reapply for things. So then you're stuck with no income for the short period of time, but obviously it's never feeling like a short period of time because you have bills and stuff to pay. And of course it's Christmas time. So I'm like really checking on the funds, like making sure we're not spending any extra. Like I'm always checking the account. And so I checked it this morning and there are transactions from an Amazon account that is not mine. They are two smaller amounts, but that's what hackers do. They buy a couple little things to make sure that the, that, card is valid and then they'll start spending more so now i just had to shut down my card thank goodness my husband has his own for the same account or else we would be screwed for the next like week to two weeks um and i have to wait for the card to come in and um yeah i'm gonna get reimbursed like i said it's not it's not a whole bunch of money but it's still the fact of like i don't know i don't know about you guys but like i've had instances before where like things have gotten hacked and I just like it just makes me feel a little violated it honestly does because like it's such a I don't know your finances and like your anything that you have like a security on or, or involved with whatever it, it's I feel like it's such a personal thing and then when it's like messed with I feel violated I don't know about anybody else I don't know if that's like sounds dramatic but that's how I feel about it but anyway I'm going to uh, finish my coffee here get ourselves together we're actually pretty early so I'm gonna try to like not rush I'm just gonna try to keep calm because I really am like I'm also just like annoyed because there was a couple things like I'm still not driving I still have no car I still can't drive so my mom is taking me to my doctor's appointment and I really wanted to stop at the store and get a few things and I forgot to get well and now my card doesn't work and I forgot to get the other card that I was gonna use anyway for my husband who's now at work and I can't get it so I can't get the things I wanted to get God bless you and I'm just I'm just like not, I'm not, I'm not feeling it today. It doesn't help that I've already been like, I've just been really pent up lately. I've been so pent up to the point where like, I was, I was even feeling anxious to go to my best friend's house for her son's birthday party. And it wasn't because I was going there or because I was, well, honestly, I can't even say that. It might have been because I was going to be around people. I feel like it was just because I had to leave the house in general. I had, like, a responsibility to be somewhere, like, having anything that, like, I was responsible for and having to leave my house was just too much for me this week. I don't know. <sighs> so, yeah. I don't want to ramble and make this video any longer. I know my vlogs get, like, really lengthy and it's probably annoying, but... So I'm just gonna shut up now and I guess the next clip you'll probably see is 
hearing the doctor speak to me. I'm gonna try to like sneak a little audio in there and then we'll talk much later because I'm gonna go to my mom's after and get some laundry done and just hang out with her. Please wish me some luck. And I'm giving any bit of hope and positivity that I have to all of you who are feeling the least bit anxious at all today. Deep breaths, we will make it through. Oh God. <laughs> Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! You do it. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! How's it going? Yeah. So, you know, I talked to the radio. It took me a long time to get one. Um, and uh, But I did get the one who actually read the study, and we went over it, and I told her, you know, the, the concerns I had. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she really went through and looked at all of the tendons, you know, in your foot, specifically the one that kind of comes over here because mm -hmm. that was kind of bothering you. Um, and she said tendonitis in that area specifically. Okay. okay. So so what is there? You know, um, right. there's a couple things. I saw inflammation in those two bones. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that are next to one another, and that is true. Okay. Okay. Now the problem is like the the radiographic findings that go along with kind of like the bone injury that I'm talking about um, later on um, are like, you know, they kind of turn a different color because they don't have any blood flowing into them. Mm -hmm. But early on, you know, the findings for that condition, you know, can be very similar to a bone bruise. They kind of look the same. Right. It's inflammation in the bone. That's what you have, okay? So it's very hard to say, like, over time, hopefully the bones will just get better with rest um, and the, the inflammation inside the bones will kind of go down. And then the other thing is, you know, and she, she can't... Um, ignore this or whatever is this coalition that you have which are these yeah. bones that are kind of connected by this fibrous bridge and the inflammation you know through that area it did kind of kick up you know inflammation right. in that but unfortunately this could you know present as an issue if the inflammation doesn't go down um, in that I might have to cut out the little bone connection mm -hmm. if it if you walk and it remains like inflamed then you know that could be an issue okay yeah. you know the um the, the radiologist she was nice and i really wanted to you know push her to look at the the concept of this avascular necrosis or whatever and mm. i don't know if you looked it up it's avn i actually i did i really <laughs> so you know you know in the long term if that were to happen like, it's a very unfortunate situation mm -hmm. and it can crop up from a motor vehicle accident and like you know we try to keep people off it, make them feel better. Right. And then if the bone does um, die, is it asymptomatic or does it need to come out and have a bone graft and a fusion? I mean, that's like a major surgery. Yeah. Where it's like really, that, it can be a very bad problem. You know, if you can't get on your foot with the cam walker, I mean, you could be just a very long time, like immobilized and off your foot until, you know, we can do a repeat MRI at some point and, right. you know, decide if it's, if the bones are healing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Is that rare, though? Something like it's that. It's very rare. Okay. However, it happens, you know, usually to people who have motor vehicle accidents. Um, it, it could. It could happen. <sighs> okay. It is days later. I'm finally getting a chance to wrap this up. My poor boy is sick again with a very congestive head cold. He started sneezing Monday night didn't think much of it and then he's just been so congested and now he's at the point of like everything's just running out and he's coughing and poor kid so he just literally passed out in my arms it's like a little bit before nap time he usually gets a bottle and then i lay him down and he didn't even need that we were just dancing and playing with bubbles and then he wanted to pick him up and then he just passed out in my arms which is so i didn't want to put him down because it rarely happens and i love those moments but he needs to get his rest he definitely needs to get his rest he's also way too heavy to hold forever but anyway i'm finally have some time to sit down and wrap this up obviously what was heard was everything from the doctor and basically in layman's terms what that means and there was stuff like there was unnecessary stuff that i cut out of just us like conversing and whatever but in layman's terms for anybody who cares i don't know why a part of me feels like i'm like putting this information out and nobody's gonna give a crap but um anyway for anybody who cares basically what all that means is i am still out of work 
I am still in my boot. She told me to be in the boot the next two weeks. This week she wants limited mobility, which I, let me tell you, I am trying. I am trying so hard to do that, um, but I have a 17 month old, so it's borderline impossible to be immobile, number one. Number two, it was different when I couldn't use my foot, like when the when the injury was fresh and I physically could not bear any weight on my foot. It's not the most comfortable. Um, it is not the most painful. However, my ability to use my foot is there. So for me to just sit and do nothing and watch my house become a wreck or not be able to take care of my kid properly when I have the use of my foot, um, it is not possible. It's just not possible. So I'm trying very hard to relax it as much as possible um, while also still for my own mental health, keeping everything around me um, out of disarray and put together, which I need my foot to do that. So I am trying. So that's this week. Next week, she said, walk in the boot, you know, normal. And then the following week to take the boot off and start walking around again in a shoe and see how it goes. Um, and then I have to go back on Christmas Eve morning. Super fun. And I guess she's going to examine it again and then decide whether or not we need anything extensive. I am also on a steroid pack, peck. I don't know. She has a weird accent. I don't know if she was saying steroid peck or pack. I don't know, but it's a, it's a steroid medicine. Um, I don't like the stuff. I am taking it. I only have to take it for six days, but it's supposed to help with the inflammation in my foot. And I think I left it in where she said something about um, if the inflammation is still there, where I have this what's called coalition, which honestly wasn't even uh, brought to my attention until after the accident, because I guess in the MRI it showed this coalition. Basically what that means is there's like bones in your foot that aren't supposed to be connected and some people are born with a deformity where they are connected. I being said deformed foot person. <laughs> what the injury did was kick up inflammation and basically if that inflammation doesn't go down because the bones are connected, um, it could cause a serious problem and the bone could die is what she's saying. So the steroid pack is to help keep the inflammation down as well as me taking it easy um so if i'm still experiencing pain by the time i go back or discomfort then there's a possibility for a repeat mri and then if there's still the inflammation that's when she was talking about possibly cutting out the bone which is scary so basically i'm still in limbo and it's like this waiting game that i'm just getting so tired of playing but taking it day by day because that's all i can do and that's literally, that's literally it. There's nothing really more to say about it. Um, currently, that is what it is, so. Again, I apologize to anybody who this doesn't um, appeal to. This is just me giving my general update because I know there were people who were asking me how everything's going and like wanted specifics and I really just hate to sit and like text and type specifics. So here's your update for anybody who cares to know. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. I'm going to stop talking before this comes any lengthier than it already is. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are, and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.